I'm angry. And I'm sorry if I come across angry. But is the Western Christian church really even preaching the gospel that saves? I have my doubts. Let me explain why. In Galatians 1, Paul is going to lay down two gospels, the true and the false, and he'll tell us the difference between the two. Then let's make up our own minds if the Western Christian church is preaching the true one or the false one. Galatians 1, 6 and 7 in the New English Translation. I'm astonished that you Christians are so quickly deserting the one who called you by the grace of Christ and you are following a different gospel. Not that there really is another gospel, but there are some who are disturbing you and wanting to distort the gospel of Christ. The false gospel is the gospel of Christ distorted. The false gospel is not saying, forget about Jesus, go back to Moses. You'll get saved by keeping the law of Moses. Not at all. The false gospel is a distortion of the gospel of Jesus. The false gospel is a message about Jesus and it's even a gospel of Christ, a good news about Jesus, but a twisting of it. What was the pure gospel? We saw it in verse 6. I'm astonished that you are so quickly deserting the one who called you by the grace of Christ. The true gospel that saves is the grace of Christ. They were distorting the good news about the grace of Jesus somehow. They didn't say there's no grace. They were just twisting grace. How? Come to chapter 3. He will talk to the Galatian Christians again. New English translation, verse 1, 2, and 3. You foolish Galatians, who has cast a spell on you? You see? Believing this false gospel, this distortion of grace, is equivalent to have a satanic curse and spell on you. Oh, you foolish Galatians, who has cast a spell on you? Before your eyes... Jesus Christ was vividly portrayed as crucified. I preached the gospel to you, Paul is saying. I clearly painted a picture, told you what it was all about. It centers on the death of Jesus. Before your eyes, Jesus Christ was vividly portrayed as crucified. The false teachers had twisted the message of the cross of Christ, the grace of Christ, the cross of Christ. How? Verse 2. The only thing I want to learn from you is this. Did you receive the Spirit by doing the works of the law or by hearing what you heard and believing what you heard? Wow. Now he's going to distinguish the true from the false. So guys, I told you the true gospel. It was the message of Jesus on the cross. That's the grace of God, what Jesus did on the cross. The focus of the grace of God, the true gospel that saves, focuses on what Jesus did, not what we do. Verse 1 again, before your eyes, Jesus Christ was vividly portrayed as crucified. The message of the gospel of Christ focuses on what Jesus has done, not what we do. Verse 2, the only thing I want to learn from you is this. Did you receive the Spirit by doing the works of the law or by believing what you heard? What did they believe? What did they hear? Jesus Christ died for you. You've done nothing to contribute to salvation. It all focuses on the work of Jesus. And he said, when you guys first accepted the gospel from me, did you receive the Spirit when you got born again by doing works of the law or just by believing what you heard? Just by believing what you heard. You started off right. When I preached the gospel of grace that saves you, I didn't tell you Jesus died on the cross Plus, you have to keep the law to get saved. That's not what I told you. 
All I told you was the death of Jesus. And you believed it. And I didn't tell you anything about what you had to do to get saved. The cross alone. If these messages are blessing you, please consider giving the thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notifications button. This will trigger YouTube to sending messages like these all around the world. God bless you. But that's not the false gospel. The false gospel will be defined in verse 3. Are you so foolish? Although you began with the Spirit, are you now trying to finish by human effort? You started off the Christian walk correctly simply by hearing and believing that Jesus died for you. You did nothing. You started off by faith in the grace of God demonstrated on the cross of Jesus. You did nothing. All you did was hear that Jesus died for you. All you heard was what Jesus did alone and you believed. You started correctly. Although you began with the Spirit, faith in the finished work of Jesus alone, and now you're trying to finish by human effort, you started right, grace alone, I did nothing, Jesus did it all on the cross, I heard it, I believed, I got the Holy Spirit. You started right, grace of God, no human works, only the works of Jesus. You started right, and now you think you're going to finish the Christian walk by adding to what Jesus has done? What? The false gospel is not that you have to believe in Jesus and have works to get saved. No, no, no. The false gospel is you start right by putting faith alone in what Jesus has done alone. And then you're going to continue the Christian walk and finish it by adding your human effort. What's the false gospel? It's not get rid of Jesus. It's not faith in Jesus plus your human works. The false gospel is you start off with grace. You start your Christian walk by grace. And then you continue and finish your Christian walk by grace plus what I do. The false gospel is not faith plus works to get saved. The false gospel taught it's grace alone to get saved, but then to finish the Christian walk, it's grace plus. What? The false gospel is, I'm saved by grace, I start right. And then to stay saved, I have to finish the race by adding my works, human effort. Folks, this is what's being preached in the churches. Jesus will accept you just the way you are. You don't have to do anything. He did it all. But now that you're saved, you have to continue the Christian walk and you've got to start keeping the commandments to show you are saved. Grace plus obedience. Grace plus baptism. Grace plus keeping the Sabbath. Grace plus anything else. The false gospel is simple. You get saved by grace and then you finish the Christian walk by adding your own efforts. So it's no longer grace alone. The gospel that saves is grace to get saved and grace to stay saved until you finish. That's what the true gospel is. Is the Christian church really preaching the gospel of grace? grace from beginning to end are the churches saying now you're saved by grace now you've got a dot 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 this is the false gospel that Paul exposed folks you can rest and have peace in Jesus you get saved without human works and you stay saved 
without human works. It's from grace to grace. God bless you.